everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie. If you're new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday. And today we are going to be doing some barbecue drumsticks. It is kind of fitting for the holiday season. It is New Year's Eve as we speak. And this is just something quick and simple you guys can uh, cook up for your family or like football games or any other event that you have going on. So today we are just gonna quickly get started. I have some stuff over here ready and prepped. I started my air fryer just to heat it up real quick. I only had it started for about five minutes. I had it on 400 degrees. So what you need to do for this recipe is, like I said, I have my drumsticks ready. I just got a whole package from Walmart. I already poured on my olive oil to coat everything on there. I have my seasonings with me today. All I'm going to be using to season my drumsticks is salt, pepper, and garlic salt. I don't really want to overdo it with seasoning because I am going to be adding the barbecue sauce to it. So for right now though, I have the oil on the drumsticks. My air fryer, like I said, already started up. I have my removable pan inside. I'm going to give it a good spray down with my cooking spray, just so nothing sticks in here. What you wanna do is put so many chicken drums in your air fryer. Okay, they say not to overcrowd because you want it to cook evenly for all of them. So right now I have five drumsticks in here. You can cook them in batches. I'm going to go ahead and put some garlic salt on top. My pepper. And then my salt. Okay. So what I'm gonna put my temp on, I'll pull this over here. I'm gonna start it up, put it on 400 degrees. I'm gonna cook it for 10 minutes. After it's done cooking for 10 minutes, I'm gonna take them out, I'm gonna flip them over, I'm gonna cook them for another 10 minutes. And then you need to have a meat th thermometer because you want to be able to check the inner part of the chicken and make sure that it's at 165 degrees to make sure that it's fully cooked. And if it's not fully cooked, then you need to cook it for another five minutes. So as for the sauce and stuff, we'll come back with that and I will show you how to apply the sauce and cook that up. But for today, I'm just gonna show you guys how to cook the first batch and then I'll continue on later with the other batch and I will show you how the chicken turns out. Okay, so my air fryer is finished and I cook for 10 minutes. I'm going to flip them over. Set again for 400 degrees and cook for another 10 minutes. And wait for the air fryer to start up. There you go, and I will come back when that's finished. All right, so the chicken is already done. I did end up cooking it for another three minutes. So initially you would cook for 10 minutes and then I flipped over and I cooked for 13 minutes and I used my um, temperature gauge and it came out good. The juices ran clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some barbecue sauce to the drumsticks and then I'm going to cook them for another five minutes. So go ahead and add as much barbecue sauce as you like. That's pretty much what I did to coat mine. I'm sure you could add more or put some on the side as you eat them, but this is just what I put on for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and set my air fryer again for 400, and I'm going to cook them for five minutes and they should be finished. 
All right, so they are finished and I, they are fully cooked from putting the barbecue sauce on. I'll just put them on the plate right here. They're nice and crispy. I think the good thing about the air fryer is being able to just cook up quick batches of things. If you're looking for, like with our family, with us having so many kids, I was only able to cook up five of them before, um, or with me having to continuously make these. So, I mean, it's I guess it's okay if you want like hot drumsticks every time with, or per serving that you want to do. But um, for us, we would just have to keep cooking them. I guess it would maybe quicker in the oven. But if you are just looking for something for yourself or just um, like a quick snack or a quick meal, this is uh, the perfect way to go. So that was about 23 minutes um, for cooking time and prep time, maybe like four minutes or three minutes to really put the oil on and put your seasoning on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today on making drumsticks in the air fryer. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and go check out some of my other air fryer videos. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next one.